Hello guys and welcome to episode 16 of Let's Play World of Warcraft. We are fresh out of Stormwind Stockade and I've noticed that we've got two quests here that we can pick up and the first one here is to go to the Dark Moon Fair which I thought would be a quite good change of pace so I think we're going to head there and we'll take part in a couple of the games just for a bit of fun and the second one here is uh, a quest that's telling us to go to Stranglethorn Vale so we'll head to the rebel camp there after we've been to the Dark Moon Fair so we'll just teleport there now because uh, the Dark Moon Fair is only around one week every month I think don't quote me but yeah here's the portal achievement incoming it's like the easiest achievement ever And you know, this is just like, you know, a little bit of fun before we go on and start leveling again. In case there's somebody out there who hasn't actually seen the Dark Moon Fair yet. So it's a pretty cool little place. And you can get some cool rewards there for the uh, daily quest that you can do. So just follow these arrows. And there it is, as you can see. Roll up, roll up. So we'll, um, we'll ignore all the uh, daily quests that you can see there just for now, and we'll go and hand in first, and then we'll we'll come back and we'll try our hand at a few things, a few of the little games that you can play here. There's the handing guy. Hello, my friend. Yes. Right, so we get our Dark Moon Adventurer's Guide, which means you can, well, yeah, you pick this quest up off this lady here, and she'll ask you to collect 250 Grizzly Totems, and you can get those by uh, killing mobs of your level range and stuff like that, so dungeons or just normal questing and stuff, you can acquire those. Uh, as long as you have the Dark Moon Adventurer's Guide with you, then you can um, automatically receive them after killing mobs and stuff, so yeah, that's good. I haven't actually done that quest yet, yeah. so I um, don't actually know what you can get for it, but we shall see. Anyway, here's like the uh, tank or tonk game. We have to shoot um, targets and stuff. Yeah, I've just realised that I haven't got any game tokens yet, so I'll just have to go and buy some of those. Now, where is the vendor? It's nearby, I remember that. Yeah. There we go. Sack of tokens. That will do. Thank you very much. Have a good one. So there you go guys, 20 of those. That'll let us play some of the games. So let's go try our hand at this Tonk Commander game. And away we go. I'm, I've tried these games before, I am pretty terrible, so they do take me a couple of tries <laughs> to actually complete them, but, you know, it's all good. At least you get some Dark Moon prize tickets at the end of it, so it's not all in vain. But yeah, it's a cool little place to come to pass 15 minutes or something, you know, just for a little giggle and stuff. I think you can get some um, like replica armor sets from here as well for your prize tokens that you accumulate. So um, maybe I'll go check those out at some point. So only 14 more of these targets. I'm just trying not to get blown up by the other tanks and stuff. And I think our time's going to run out. So yeah, we're going to have to come in again and finish this off. Get the last 10 maybe. No, nine more we need. Nine more. What's on your mind? What's your Try again. Yeah, we should have it this time. As long as we don't get blown up by anything. Oh, nearly. Two more. One more. What? Really? Oh. 
Well, it was like one off guys, and I think I just got blown up. Wonderful. We'll just get this last one now. There we go. So we shall hand that in. We don't actually get any XP or anything, so... Like I said, this is just for funsies. What do we get for our troubles? A Dark Moon prize ticket. Fair enough. Okay, what else have we got here? Ah, yes, the uh, shooting game, the rapid, like, firing game. He shoots his scars. Right, let's play. No doubt this one will take me a couple of tries as well. So yeah, we need to get 25, we need to get to 25. Oh, achievement, quick shot. Why is it not working? I think I was stood too far away. Yeah, our time's running out again. I wouldn't stand too close, people. I have not been trained with this gun. And you know, guns and fares and places like that they tend to be rigged as well so you don't win <laughs> so they don't actually aim truly so I wouldn't stand too close at all <laughs> yep so we need to uh, spend another game token <laughs> to finish this off we only need like two more there we go hand that in and what do we get for that Oh, oh yeah, we get the Dark Moon Top Hat, which increases your experience uh, and reputation gains by 10% for one hour. So we shall use that when we go questing, because that will be a little booster, so that's good. So maybe it was worth our time after all. <laughs> so yeah, let's go try something else out, guys. Dark Moon Fair is a fun place. Oh yeah, the cannon game, I love this game, although I am pretty bad at it, but... <clears throat> We're going to get launched over towards the sea and then to like a little target that you have to um, like drop into. <clears throat> so we'll see how we get on there. 3, 2, 1, boom! Right, let me try and time this. Here's the target. And... Oh, straight in the middle, right? Well, I think you get all the points for a, um, a bullseye, but I look, it looked like we were like directly in the middle there. I think we just got robbed. Right, we'll go back and um, try that one again. Here's all the animals, the uh, zoo area. It's uh, pretty cool. Variety. Oh, my uh, favourite animal ever is a giraffe, guys. In case you've ever wondered, not that anybody would wonder that, but yeah, I am. Uh, I'm quite into my. Um, wildlife and nature programs and stuff like that, so. I think when we came out of the water there's a, like a guy that can actually teleport you back to the cannon. I just remembered that. But we're, we'll just run back, it's okay. Yeah, I love the look of this place, it really is very, very fair, like or the hanging light bulbs and stuff, it's, a, it's really brilliant. So, it's, we need two points, so we need to pretty much hit it bang on again. But we should have got the achievement for getting the bullseye there, I'm pretty sure we should have, but... Never mind. This time, guys, this time. Ready? Ready? And... Come on. There we go. Bullseye. Yeah, this guy here, I think he can teleport us back to um, to the cannon, which is nice of him. Yep, there we go. Yay! Hey. 
And another prize. Some more prize tickets, but it's all good. They all add up. So we'll be able to buy something cool at some point. I know you can get pets and, um, like I said, some uh, replica armor and stuff like that. So, right, this is like um, Wacker Groll or Noll, Wacker Noll. I don't know. <laughs> it's hammer time, apparently. So yeah, we need to hit these. I think we need to um, not hit the gingerbread people because I think it gives you a stun. Oh, like I know he just did that. <laughs> Anything that pops up, I generally just hit the hell out of it. Sometimes it works, sometimes not. So yeah, we need to like bash 30 of those. Come on. So yeah, this is like the uh, game Whack-A-Mole. Time's running now. Oh yeah, there's a stun because I just hit a gingerbread person. Great. We'll try and get a couple more before we get teleported out. Oh, right, so we need 16 more guys. Hopefully we'll get it in this turn. Right, let's go. There's like some different kind of uh, nulls that come out and um, they give you a, more than just one point each I think. I can't actually see it. Oh there, there's one. Yeah, there. There we go. See, they give you some good points. Four more points needed. Oh, one more point. And there we go. Yay. Plenty of time to spare on that one. And a complete quest. And just some more price tickets. <laughs> oh well, that was fun, guys. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to... Um, oh, we've got nine tickets. We're going to teleport to... Teleport. We're going to hast down to Stormwind, and then uh, I'm going to fly to Duskwood, and we'll head on to Stranglethorn Vale, and we'll head to the uh, Rebel Camp there. So it'd be cool going to Stranglethorn, rather than the gloom of Duskwood. So, yeah. I'll um, probably cut here guys and I will pick up with you again when we are in Stranglethorn. So I shall see you in a moment. And the sky is turning light again. We're exiting Duskwood and we're in Stranglethorn, yay! So I don't actually know if I've quested in this place since um, I've seriously quested in this place since uh, Cataclysm changed it all so there might be a few things different to what I remember I'll just pick up the flight path don't forget the flight path hello my friend well met. Light bless you. right we need some uh, prison records and some officers dossier Careful. fair enough and we just need to collect seven jungle remedies I'm guessing from the same area so yeah we'll go do those guys off we go anyway listen to me rambling on about World of Warcraft and stuff like that I hope you're all doing awesomely and I hope you've um, all taken part in the new contest that I have run in to win some TCG loot if you haven't already, do be sure to check that video out and take part. It's obviously free to enter and you can win some free loot, so why not, right? I am planning on um, uploading several videos this weekend, so if you... Oh, sorry to interrupt, but yeah, here's the, um, the dossier in the prison records, like in one place. Nice. So there's the prison records and the dossier, yeah, is here. That's awesome. So yeah, as I was saying guys, I'm going to be uploading several videos this weekend, hopefully. Um, I'm going to level Druid a couple more levels after this tonight, maybe. Um, and so that'll be a couple more Let's Play videos, in case you crave more. <laughs> and uh, I'm also going to do um, another little Let's Play video, only like a five minute or something video. I don't know if you guys have heard of the game called Robot Unicorn Attack. 
Yeah, I kid you not, if you haven't heard of it, that is the name of the game. And the game is just as crazy as the name is. So yeah, I'm <laughs> going to do like a short little fun let's play of that also tonight. So do expect um, several videos this weekend, guys. So yeah, do keep an eye out for those. And uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoy them. Because I'm really enjoying making them at the moment. So uh, you no point doing this if I didn't enjoy it. Anyway, yeah, I'm rambling on about other stuff now, and now I'm not talking about World of Warcraft, which is what the whole video is about. So, we're going to get some jungle remedies off these dudes around here. We've already got the prison records and the dossier there. That was like a no-brainer. Just, like, stumbled across those. We love it when that happens. So, oh, I just completed the quest. Great. Well, the drop rate of this uh, jungle jungle remedy isn't 100%, but it's not too bad. Probably getting one every about three kills or something. There, there are quite a few other people farming. Well, not farming, questing the same mobs. So it's proving uh, slightly difficult, but we shall power through it. We don't need too many more. And yeah, as you can see, guys, we're getting some um, grizzly trophies now. So that's the um, the quest that we picked up in Dark Moon Fair. So once we completed that, we'll be sure to um, when it when the fair is actually around again, we'll go back there and hand that in and see what we can get for our troubles for that quest. Maybe nothing, but you know, I've never handed that quest in before, so yeah, we'll find out. We seem to be getting a grizzly trophy more often than we do these damn jungle remedies that we need. <sighs> Gotta love drop rates. Come on, come on. There we go. Right, so that is all of them now, guys. Thank God for that. Right, now we need to bring the Lashtail Hatchling uh, back to the Rebel Camp. Oh yeah, we have the little guy next to us now, look. Little Lashtail Hatchling. Aww. Right, so we'll take him back to the camp with us. And uh, I think we'll probably be using him on the next quest as well. So I shall see you at the Rebel Camp. And here we are. What can I do for you? There is your jungle remedy, my friend. There is a new belt. Awesome stuff. We need some seven samples of crystal spine or something from some crocolists. Let's put the new belt on there. And hand this new quest in. Alright, ah, okay. Yeah, so we need to kill some um, basilisks and then our little lash tail hatch on here is going to eat the flesh off 40 pieces of meat or something. That sounds absolutely lovely. Oh, we're nearly at the next level. Go with honor, that is awesome stuff. Oh, he's cute. I just noticed that the uh, the belt that I just quit from completing that quest actually has less intellect than the one we had on, so I'm going to switch that back again. <laughs> and I also noticed that we... Um, I haven't even used the top hat yet. You know, the Dark Moon top hat <laughs> that, that would boost our experience by 10%, so we probably would have leveled by now. But yeah, we haven't used that yet. But never mind. Um, basically, guys, I have to nip out of the house now, like pretty much this moment. So I'm going to end this video here and like get it rendering and stuff. Um, sorry that I haven't dinged, but I obviously will ding twice in the next episode. But yeah, I do actually have to uh, leave pretty soon, so I'm going to have to end this here and sure. don't really have time for the next quest. But I promise to pick that up as soon as I get back, and so that will be another video that is uploaded um, either tonight or tomorrow. Like I said, um, there'll be two or three videos this weekend. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Please do thumbs up the video and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will be back very, very soon. So, bye for now.